Okay, this is a quick video to show you how to improve the performance of your Netgear Nighthawk M1 uh, wireless cellular router. So we all know that they have these antenna ports uh, down here. And so you can purchase an antenna to improve performance. So I've done just that. And uh, here's the antenna, and I kind of have the cable sprawled out to show you. You get ample amounts of cable. Now this antenna I bought on Amazon. There's the, uh, let you look at the name of it. Bing Fu 4G LTE Magnetic Base External TS9 Antenna 2-Pack. And uh, so there it is. The frequency range this supports, um, you can see the traps on here on the antenna, here and here. Um, the frequency range, is, it supports three bands and uh, starting at uh, like uh, 698 megahertz uh, all the way up into the, what is it, 1900, 2000 range. So it covers everything that this uh, modem needs. And we have the two, uh, two antennas, one for the main and one for the aux. So I'm going to connect those up and then show you the performance differences that I measured at my location with this uh, antenna setup. Oh, I forgot to tell you, this antenna was pretty cheap. I want to say it was $16. I'll, I'll put the details uh, down below so you can check it out. Not expensive uh, for a little upgrade. And um, let's uh, come back to you with the antennas connected. Okay, we've got the antennas attached here. So there's the two antennas. And they are plugged in to those TS9 connector receptacles there on the Night Gear, Netgear Nighthawk M1. And a couple things I want to point out right away. First of all, the antennas are fine. No complaints. They're cheap. The bases claim to be magnetic. Um, and... And uh, there may be a slight magnet in there, but I will tell you, these are really not magnetic. I would have um, had a, some metal here to kind of prop the antennas up, but um, they're not magnetic, super light. Um, so um, if you're counting on magnetic, the magnet wouldn't even hold this thing up in the slightest of wind. I mean, you breathe on it, it would fall over. Okay, but that doesn't really matter. What matters is performance. So... Um, Got the antennas plugged in. Reception's still hanging in there, supposedly at three bars. So what I'm gonna do is run a series of tests now, to a uh, bandwidth test, and see what reception difference I get with and without the antenna. Then I'm gonna come back to you. I think I'll probably put them in a PowerPoint or something and show you the speedtest.net results that I get. Okay. All right. Well, I went ahead and did a series of tests and uh, recorded the bandwidth and put it into a little uh, presentation here. So the comparison is between the uh, internal antenna alone versus the uh, external antenna. Okay, so we'll look at the internal antenna first. Um, what you're looking at here, um, I did a snapshot of the um, signal strength as reported by the software. Um, I just grabbed a couple of them to kind of capture any variations and if they were the same I, I just omitted those. So I just wanted to feel for the conditions were being the same. I took all these measurements within a few minutes of each other. You can see the timestamp. So here I took four uh, different uh, samples and you can see there was a big range in the uh, the, the down the the uh, download and upload uh, speed. In fact, the the lowest download speed had the best upload speed, which was interesting. Okay, so here with the internal antenna, you know the maximum um, was twenty two point eight five uh, megabits. So now let's take a look at the external antenna and how that changed. 
Okay, I did go ahead with the external antenna here and take more data points. I think I have six of them. And you could say that, okay, is that cheating? Well, then throw out my highest two, and you'll still see the results are much better. Um, but I, I kept capturing data because I kind of wanted to see, you know, where the variation was. And, and you can actually kind of look at the timestamps here and make your own conclusion. But it, it seems to, to be that it kind of um, bounces around a bit. Remember, I'm on the outskirts. I had three bars of uh, signal strength. Okay, so here the best uh, download was 30 megabits a second. Um, had a couple of those, a 29. So there's three out of six data points quite high. And then the lowest one here was 22.91, which is higher than the lowest, or higher than the uh, best internal antenna score. So the lowest here is better than the antenna score. In fact, to make it clear for you, let's look at the uh, uh, kind of a summary. So the best download score with the internal antenna, 22.85. External, 30.59. Clearly uh, an 8 megabit uh, difference. The worst download speed of the internal antenna was 12.85, whereas the worst with the external antenna was 22.91. Again, about a ten, you know, there's a 10 megabit difference, substantial difference. So my my conclusion here is that the antenna clearly provided an advantage, and it's really amazing what sixteen dollars can get you. So um, this antenna worked out, and I'll definitely be using it. And uh, thanks thanks for watching. Um, I did want to uh, mention. I left out earlier the frequency range of the antenna. I told you that there were three kind of ranges. So the kind of 600, maybe 700 megahertz range, 1700 to 21, and then uh, 23 to 2700. So it um, covers a wide range. And, uh, the, yep, you can see I purchased this in February, and uh, it was $16. Okay. Well, thanks for watching. So after looking at the speed test results, I'm happy with my purchase of these antennas um, for $15, $15, It was uh, well worth it to get a nice little uh, boost to my uh, download and upload speeds. So if you're interested, feel free to, to check them out. There's a lot of antennas out there to choose from. Um, you do need to get the TS9 connector that's a little bit limiting. They do make adapters as well. Um, and ju yeah, just uh, explore and I would highly recommend using uh, different antennas. Um, you know, you can even get external antennas for this and you can get uh, window mount antennas with the suction cup on them. So there's a whole variety. I think if you're going to put this in a, on a shelf, you know, or someplace in your house, um, this is, these are a pretty good choice. And I think I'll just put... Um, you know, double-sided tape on the bottom just to kind of hold them up. It's really not needed, but uh, that would uh, probably be what I'll do. Okay, thanks for watching.